What's up guys? Currently editing the video that you are watching now, but I just wanted to explain a little bit about the climbing plan slash training plan that I'll be doing uh, in this video. So here's some footage and a little voiceover. Okay guys, so as I just said, I'm going to do a little voiceover on the training plan that I'm doing and you can obviously see some footage of me climbing. So real quick, I'm just going to go over what I've been doing. Um, like I've said before in previous videos, I always, always, always try to warm up a tiny bit, especially my arms because of the bad bicep tendonitis that I get. So I usually go into the gym before we start climbing and do say 50 reps of bicep curls, all different kinds, rotating and hammer strength curls, everything. So after that, I would usually hang from a bar for a little bit just to warm up my lats a tiny bit. And then usually my girlfriend and I we will go on an easy route just to warm up everything. Then we will start progressively getting into harder routes. So right now you can see that I'm on a route that is grade five, seven, obviously not too hard at all. <laughs> Very beginner, but it's a good warm up. And then we go into I think a 510A or 59 usually. But anyways, so about the plan that I've kind of made up for all of this. I thought about it a lot. And going from a 59 to a 512B climber is obviously a big challenge. So I had to structure this in a way that would give me time to recover but also not have too much of a break to where I'm not very really progressing. So what I thought up was I tried to climb a certain route for three to four weeks and then try to go up to the next route level. So for example, uh, right now I'm on 10 A's, um, I'm not completely sending all of them, but I have gotten a lot better since I've started just climbing 10 A's. So I'll do a mix of 5 9's and 5 10 A's, and I will basically try to complete as many 10 A's, even if it's the same route, as many times as possible. Usually within each climbing session, we do about five routes, not including warm-ups. So do five climbs of five nines and five ten A's. And then the next day, do the same thing, trying to incorporate more ten A's, getting more advanced with technique and more comfortable with it, and just getting stronger in general. I find that I do have a problem with holding on to holds, especially later in the climbs. So just by climbing a lot, I will keep gaining strength with my forearms. And that definitely seems to be the thing that gives out the most, either that or I just can't complete the route because I don't have the technique. For some reason, I still have a lot of problems with sticking close to the wall and uh, just technique in general. I also seem to use my arms a lot, which then tires me out, and then I have to sit on the wall, and I don't complete the climb as fast. One thing that I did find that helps is if you go faster during the climb, it might not be the best for strengthening your arms or forearms, but I do find that I can usually finish climbs much faster and without any breaks on the wall, which feels good. I don't know if it will actually help in the long run <laughs> because you're not really strengthening those muscles as much, but it definitely feels good to finish the climb 
in one go. With that said, I personally don't think anything is wrong with sitting on the wall and resting for a minute or two because this way it will strengthen your arms and by doing this you'll be able to do climbs that you haven't been able to do. For example, when I first started doing 10As, which is kind of around the video that you're watching now, you can see me sitting on the wall a lot, but literally the next time we climbed, which was a two-day break or three-day break, then I was able to do these climbs with either one break or no breaks at all. And part of the reason was, like I said, I either tried to climb a little faster or just because I'm more familiar with the route, I know different ways to position my body, which will make it easier for me to reach a certain hold or I know where to stand, which will take stress off my arms and then my arms don't get as tired so I can finish the climb that way. But yes, I am finding climbing very fun, but it is very, very hard, especially in the beginning, especially when I don't have this arm strength that when I look around, a lot of people have, but it is tons and tons of fun. And right here on this green route, you can see me when I get towards the top, really, really struggle, especially because I don't know if you can see the very top is almost no holds. You, the holds literally just are there for you to pull yourself into the wall. And I obviously struggle a lot on this. It's definitely one thing that I'm really working on. I'm actually going to show you guys the same route probably three videos from now just to see if I progressed. Uh, hopefully I have, but we will see. I'll probably do it once or twice, but yes, these technical routes are a big problem for me. I need to really focus on getting close to the wall so I don't fall back and also so I don't use so much arm strength which when I was near the top I literally just couldn't hold on anymore and I had to be lowered down which is so disappointing because I'm three holds away from getting to the very top but you win some you lose some and every time I go climbing I feel like the very next time we climb with that two or three day break I'm so much more stronger and I'm completing many more climbs that when I first try, there's no chance of me getting. But the next time I try it, I get it. So for any of you out there who are just starting something, you really just need to keep going at it, keep trying, keep progressing. Small little improvements that really make this, whether that's climbing in the gym, with a diet or anything else so try not to give up try not to get discouraged and you'll eventually get there i promise so i'm gonna end this video with a small recap of my training plan if you didn't catch it near the beginning basically i'm gonna be climbing or trying to climb three times a week doing five routes of which is my top level so like i said before i'll go climb three times out of the week and if i'm at 10 a's which i am right now then i will try to complete five 10 a's or a mix of 10 a's and five nines depending on how i'm feeling that day and then the next climbing session, I would do the same thing. I would do this for a total of three to four weeks before trying to move up to the next level. So I'll be at 10 A's for three to four weeks before moving up to 10 B's. 
and this is just a way for me to get stronger and get used to the different types of climbs there are and not jump into something super hard and injure myself and then I'll be out for a month or however long. So this is a good way just to slowly progress and not injure yourself. Just like how in the gym, if you've never deadlifted before, you're probably not gonna put on like four plates and try to deadlift four plates with almost no experience. So I'm just taking it slow and slowly progressing, slowly gaining strength. And hopefully we will get to our goal soon. So thank you for watching. Leave me any comments on what you want to see or any feedback. I would very much appreciate some feedback. And I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.